sometimes as a producer, you put a movie together and you do some of the casting before you bring on the casting director, if there are two or three key parts. In this case with Mike, we decided we would bring, uh, Laura came aboard before we had our financing, before we had any talent. I mean, she really became a part of the team very early on to help cast um, the whole family, because we were essentially putting together a family. So it was really neat to have her come aboard at the very, very beginning of the process. So Laura, when you have a movie like this that lives or dies by the the authenticity and the believability of the relationships, I mean, these three characters are living under the same roof. Annette Bening's character basically rents rooms out in her house to these other younger women. Do you have chemistry reads? Do you put everyone together? Are you sometimes not able to do that and you have to just go on your gut that it's gonna work? How did it work in this? All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> so how did it work for these three women? What are we, 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 were, we were reviewing before we came. Um, lots of lists. L lots of lists, yeah. um, mm -hmm. you know, kind of ping-ponging back and forth, you do, which part to go for first. And we I mean, we were, we were making Dorothea. Dorothea, yeah. and, and we, we were, we needed to, to have an ensemble that equaled a family, a version of a family. So Dorothea is the matriarch and patriarch of the, of the home. And so, yeah, you start with um, the res responsibility of, of that person running the, ho the household. So, I don't know. We, I we, age appropriateness yeah. was super important to Mike, that we cast somebody who was the right age to be Dorothea, and then I, that sort of trickled down into the, into the rest of the casting. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like kind of wardrobe. So it's, it, was, it was fun to think of, of her in a certain kind of stature, kind of way that she would present herself in the, the home, kind of like Wynne was saying, you know, another way of thinking about a person was, how is she gonna look in the clothes? How tall is she? How old is she? How does she feel in Santa Barbara at this time? And, and it is true, it is, was an intimate story. It was a, based on you know, somebody that he is honoring. And so there was, there was that, that is a tricky, important part of getting correct. I think. Was yeah. there one role that was the toughest puzzle piece to fit in? I, I don't know the young actor's name but, who plays the son, but he is phenomenal. Um, and just like a real great. Well, that's definitely in a day's work. I mean, that was a full on search, a traditional way of casting a child. Um, How old were you is really, it? It, we were just, I think we he was 13. 13 when we cast him. He's, yeah, he's, he's 15, 15 now. now. Yeah. So that's a d delicate age. Right. And there's a sexual element in there as well that you didn't want to be too precious about, but you, you also wanted to, it to be believable and not gross. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so that was sort of ongoing and became chemistry reads with the other women in the household. And then once you have the whole group in place, Anne, how, I know sometimes you don't have the luxury financially of a ton of rehearsal time you have to get going. Or maybe sometimes you did, or maybe on this case you did. But how did you work with your cast members so that it really felt like they were people who lived together and had that lived in feeling? Mike spent a lot of time talking with all of the actors and he approached each one very differently. He had one whole sort of relationship with Annette. Annette wears some of his mother's jewelry and Mike puts his own, his parents' own furniture on set. So they were really steeped in his life. And um, with um, Elle Fanning and with Lucas, who were obviously not alive when the movie took place, he educated them with films to watch and music to listen to and reference pictures. So he sort of tutored them in the time and the period. Um, Billy likes to say he remembers it, so he just was, was ready um, and had very strong opinions about the character that he brought to the table, and I think same with Greta. But he spent a lot of time rehearsing with them. They went up to Santa Barbara. They would take field trips. We shot um, in one big house in um, West LA, and that was kind of neat. In West Adams, I'm sorry, because everybody could sort of spend a lot of time there. So we really built it like a family and spent a lot of time living in the actual place.